How's it going? So um, today I figured I want to do a quick review video about the Northeastern Align uh, CS Align program. Um, I am an alumni of the program. I graduated not long ago um, uh, from this program. I remember like uh, two or three years ago when I was doing the research, I was trying to find some videos on YouTube um, and try to find some reviews online about the program because at the time I was trying to decide whether to join the program or not, but I couldn't find those um, um, alumni reviews. Um, so I figured I can do this video and hopefully it will help you to decide whether to choose this program or any other program. Again, this is um, like I'm not affiliated with them. Um, I'm just going to give my honest review. And um, also like the things I talk about is from my experiences in the program um, and to see my uh, peers, how they're doing in the program. doesn't represent um, everybody in the program, just my personal experience. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so in this video, I will talk um, from um, five different uh, perspectives. So I will talk to you about what I make before and after uh, graduating the program. Um, and I will talk how much did the program cost and how long it took me to finish the program. Um, and I will talk about how are my um, fellow peers are doing and um, uh, whether they could get good jobs or not. Um, and number four, I'll talk about uh, why the program is successful, some pros and cons about the program. And uh, number five, I'll talk about alternatives to the program, like any other programs out there or boot camps that I know. Okay, okay, let's get started. First, what I make before and after the program. Before joining the program, I didn't write a line of code. Um, it was about two years ago. I make about $40,000 uh, $40, a year. I was not a technical person. I was like doing some um, just office work, office administration, that kind of work. Um, so really I was only making $40,000 a year and that's not enough for me. Um, in general, I think I am a quite ambitious person. I can't uh, let myself just making 40000 or 50000 um, a year for the rest of my life. So um, also I had a great passion for uh, technology. I wanted to be um, in the software engineer field. So that's um, when I decided um, to join, to research about the program. So before I was making 40000 um, a year. And now after two years um, in the program, I now make six figures. Um, it is very common if you land a job in Silicon Valley as a new graduate out of um, college or out of graduate school, you can, the base salary, um, the industry standard base salary is about 130,000 um, US dollars per year. Um, and adding the bonuses and the stocks, um, it's, it's, the total compensation can reach 150,000 um, or even more. Um, but this is like pretty much a standard um, package um, that you're going to be making anywhere between um, 120,000 um, to uh, to something more, um, but this is um, um, this is the scenario that you land a job in Silicon Valley and work for um, medium-sized um, or big-sized tech companies. I'm not very sure about what startups or any other companies pay, but um, I'm definitely making triple or at least double or triple the money I made um, before joining the program. So I am actually very appreciative of that. So that's the first one. Second one, how much did the program cost me and how long it took? Um, the program, I believe that, because uh, it's a three-year program, um, basically you have one year of bridge course, which is one year of um, introductory courses into computer science, followed by two years of standard uh, master program. So it's a three-year program. Uh, I finished in two years and three months because I didn't, because I want to finish quickly um, um, and uh, be able to uh, make money quicker. So um, I didn't take any summer breaks or, um, yeah, I didn't take any summer breaks. I just um, took uh, all the semesters um, one after another. So, and also took one internship. So it took me about two um, years and three months to finish that. Um, so the program, the tuition, I believe is about $75,000. Um, that's a lot of money, I know. Uh, at the time, when, I w when it was two years ago, um, they offer about $25,000 US dollars um, um, scholarship. So I actually um, paid only about $50,000 um, US dollars uh, for the tuition. Um, that's still a lot of money, right? And also, I know it's right now it's uncommon for them to give any scholarships because uh, the program is becoming really popular now. So um, seventy-five thousand dollars is a lot of money. Um, so you really have to consider that. And um, um, but for me, it cost me about fifty thousand US dollars. But then um, I landed internship um, for three months, and the internship paid about twenty-six thousand US dollars. So if you subtract twenty-six thousand internship um, salary from the 50,000, I actually, I actually doing the, uh, 
this two years, I only paid about $26,000, uh, which is for me is not a bad deal at all because, um, like I said, I was only making about forty k. Now I make triple the amount, and also the internship ship paid insane amount of money during the three months. So I, I really don't think it's a bad deal. Uh, but still, it's a financial burden, um, and also like my parents paid my tuition, so I'm really appreciative of of that. But uh, that's something you should consider. Okay, number three, who are the students and how are they doing? So um, they are, uh, I believe. I guess some of the students are fresh out of college, meaning um, they just graduated, they're 22, um, and they are majoring in something uh, different, and they want to switch to um, computer science, so they join the program. They are just a number of people, I would say maybe 30% uh, like that, but I would say 70% are uh, people who already had a little bit of work experience. They're in their like 25, anywhere from 25 to like 30, and they've, um, they're they accountants, they are um, like they work in healthcare, um, they work in an administrative jobs, they're really non-technical people where doesn't have official technical trainings, and uh, those are the majority of the people that I see. And um, um, so, and um, right, so you can see that um, people yeah, you can see a mixture of people also. I, I guess they're about like 60% international students, they're Indians, they're Chinese, and they're about like 40% um, percent Americans. Um, and um, they are coming from different ra um, racial backgrounds. They can be black, white, Asian, whatever. Um, so they're really you got a good mixture of people in the program. Um, and I think a lot of people are really, really smart. Um, I can see from my peers, um, that a lot of them got really good internship offers from like Google, Facebook, uh, Amazon, um, or smaller or medium-sized Silicon Valley tech companies. It's just um, a lot of people land a really good job in the program. But um, it really depends. Um, the trend I see is that international students are actually more successful in finding internships and full-time jobs than the domestic American students. I'm not sure why. Um, I think international students that have more pressure of really get a good job and then have this like working visa sponsorship and green card sponsorship so they really work hard towards the school i think that's why i see among my peers they're more successful but i'm not very sure about that okay so i would say like most of the people will do pretty well but uh, there's still some people um especially americans they drop out of the program i'm not very sure why i think they can't can't keep up um it's maybe a little bit difficult for them um and also the tuition is a lot of money so maybe they're short of, short of the money um i do see people kind of struggle but in general i would say if you um really uh, just do every homework you assigned and really research uh, I, i'm pretty sure you can get pretty good um pretty high gpa and pass but if you are really lazy you're like i don't want to do my work i don't want to keep up with what the teacher is saying i think you might find it struggling um but in general i don't think it's really hard for me um as someone who did not write a line of code and eventually graduate um, um like in two years for a three-year program i think it's um, i definitely struggled but not too hard okay why the program is successful uh, I think I have to say that the program is pretty successful. They are ha having different uh, campuses right now, all over the United States, even all over the world. They've got San Francisco campus, Silicon Valley campus, Boston campus, Portland campus. Um, they also got, I believe, um, in, uh, in Seattle and uh, even in Vancouver, Toronto, um, and even in many other different places around the globe. I think because North Eastern is a fraud for-profit university, right? So they are really chasing the money. And you, as you can see, each student brings them about 75,000 US dollars. That's a large sum of money. So they're really, uh, they really just want to attract more students so they can make more money. I think that's why they're expanding so quickly. Um, and also, like I said, a lot of people in the program, they are not a kid. They are already grown-ups and they really want to success. Um, and, uh, uh, succeed in finding an internship and a lot of them are international students under the pressure of finding a good job so that they can get sponsorship to stay in America so I think that's that's the reason why first of all the program want to make money so they open campuses they also have a lot of um, um, upper classmates um, or webinars or seminars talking about how they got internships or their mentorship program so I think they really try hard to make sure student success um, and also the students on the other hand really try to succeed really hard in the program so I think that's the reason why the program is successful um, I think the program is one of the first program in the whole world actually to open computer science to non-technical background people so I'm actually really appreciative of my school I think um, Without this program, I wouldn't um, land a job in a really good um, Silicon Valley tech uh, companies and making triple the salary I made before. Uh, 
Um, okay. The last one is, I'm going to turn this to the program. Um, I, I would say, actually, if you are not an international student, you are Americans or you have green cards, um, you can actually just join those boot camps. Make sure you join a good, good boot camps um, so that um, they really push you and make you learn. Um, because, as, as I said before, it's a long time. It's two years um, to three years of time commitment. It's a lot of money. It's 75000 US dollars. And I know a lot of people in the US uh, took student debt. I think um, it's a lot of money. Mm, so if you have a green card or if you are an um, just um, American, I think you can just join those boot camps. I think a lot of international join the program because after um, this master program, they've got something called OPT, uh, which is uh, kind of a visa of allowing international students to continue to work in the U.S. for up to three years. So I think that's the major reason um, a lot of international students are joining the program. But I think if you already have um, green card or eligibility to work in the U.S., you, you can just join a boot camp. It will cost you a lot less money. It will cost you a lot less time, and um, you will have... Um, a pretty similar result because the program honestly I think um, the teachers are not that good in a sense because Northeastern University is not a very 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 good school right it's like uh, okay um, school but it's not like super good so honestly I didn't find the teachers are really helpful I actually did a lot of, lot of learnings myself um, so some alternatives to the program, um, there are University of Pennsylvania MCIT program, um, right now Columbia University Align, um, CS Align, they, they also have something similar. Um, in NYU, they have a CS Bridge, um, and in University of South um, uh, California, they have something called CS 37 something. So there are a bunch of programs, not to mention there are, um, I believe there are UIUC programs on Casara as well, and the tuition is only about like 10,000 US dollars. Yeah, there are a lot of alternatives. You really have to do your research. I still believe um, North Sister uh, CS Alliance is too expensive um, and uh, it's probably not worth it. Um, okay, so that's all the things I have for today. Um, oh, one thing I have to mention is that um, the, so if you want to land a like, six figure jobs after the program, make sure you got an internship, okay? Internship is the easiest way for you to get into those big tech companies. Um, if you study for the program, you didn't get any internship, and you're about to graduate, and you apply for those new grad op new grad job openings, chances are you're not getting that because it's really really hard uh, to uh, get into a new grad uh, to get a new grad offer because the bars are higher. Um, but for internship interviews, they are much more easier. So make sure during the program you land an internship and make sure you do well in the internship so that you can convert to a full time. That's the easiest way. If you miss the chance of this internship opportunity, you're probably not going to get into big tech companies after graduation for about two to three years because it's really, really hard. Um, okay, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so that more people can find this video and help them uh, to switch their careers. Okay, thank you. See you next time.